Hey, what's up everybody? Luke Garrity here from Confluence Outfitters and I am with my friend James Gerritsen who is a guide in New Mexico on the San Juan River. You have a YouTube channel as well called About Trout. Uh, yes, that is correct. And you have a lot of instructional videos and fly tying videos and just really cool fly fishing things. Oh, well, yeah, I, I I'm, I'm, hey, I'm glad you think so. Yeah, <laughs> but we, uh, we just got off the river. Uh, it's dark, obviously, we fished a little late, and so we have a quick river report uh, for the Trinity River and also for the Lower Sacramento River. James came out, he came out for a couple days, and uh, I mean, I always give river reports. Give us a river report, let's start with the Trinity, we'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about the Lower Sac. Awesome, Let me. Oh, we'll just jump right into it. So yeah. the Trinity was, I've... Uh, it was my first experience in kind of Northern California. Uh, Luke had me pretty dialed in. Definitely a, a, a difference in rigs than what I'm used to in the Southern Rockies. Uh, Luke, you made it super easy, man. So it was a, a really easy transition. We landed some adult steelhead on the Trinity, mm -hmm. uh, nymphing. Uh, we even did some tight line techniques, which was super, super fun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you. so one thing about James is James is a... Uh, Euro dork. <laughs> That's the only way to say it. Uh, I also Euro dork a lot too, though. But he uh, he dialed in. I mean, you he actually caught a steelhead with his first cast. I mean, that actually happened. So I don't know if there's going to be a new wave of like 40 people now trying to Euro 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 stick a bunch of steelhead on. But uh, yeah, I mean, tight line technique works absolutely. And the place we were at was pretty much perfect for that. You just picked it apart and did your did your duty well don't be so humble i was fishing with a great guy yeah. so i appreciate <laughs> i appreciate your guidance and especially where the guidance came in was on on the sack um very very foreign to me like super super long leaders lots of split shot uh technical mending and you made that super easy yeah. a really easy transition um from the really delicate stuff that i'm used to and i just i can't believe how hot these fish are out here. yeah I mean, yeah, you said that was like, you were like, oh my gosh. I mean, a 16 inch fish this morning was like, whoa, right? Got you all. Did you go in your back? I, I, I saw my back. It's happened twice in my life. So yeah. I, yeah, I saw a <laughs> trout took me in the backing. It was nuts. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I guess the river report wise is the Trinity has adult steelhead in it. Um, we hooked a bunch of half pounders, obviously, as well. Um, and I think that'll happen for, you know, uh, maybe a month or two. It seems like they kind of skitter out of there uh, by the end of November. But um, they're eating egg patterns, rubber legs. We got them on nymphs. Um, so pretty much, you know, all the typical flies seem like they worked. Um, the morning was cold. It was really cold. Uh, I did a day right before James got out over there and it was uh, 30 degrees and our rod guides were frozen. So once the sun popped up, pretty nice. Uh, but the Trinity is looking really good. Um, it is super low, super clear. I mean, it was gen clear as they say. You could see everything. We actually saw um, some salmon all over the river and then we, you, you, I will tell you another, another fish story. Uh, James sighted an adult steelhead. We rode up, you made a cast and we hooked it. It was ridiculous. Yeah, that was one of the most special days um, I've had, so I'll, I'll never forget that for all the right reasons. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's, good. <laughs> I mean, it's just like all the things that can go right. You know, and it just makes up for all the days that are normal steelheading where you're just trying to hook one adult, you know, like, oh, I hope we get one. But uh, yeah, it was really cool. So, so Trinity is a great option right now. Lower sack, we actually floated, uh, we floated lower on the river. Um, as everybody has been saying, there's not a lot of salmon uh, on the on the sack right now. There's still reds here and there. Everybody's still waiting for a big push of fish. Will it happen? That's the big mystery. Uh, but we, we caught fish on the lower sections of the river and then we went back up to Posse Grounds, famous Sundown Bridge. What happened? What happened for you? Yeah, those, those fish crank. Um, kind of learning how things are done out here you coached me through that 
Um, I got smoked by a, a very, very Good nice fish. fish. <laughs> yeah, th- threw it on the first jump because trout can't spit hooks because they don't have lips. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. that was that was pretty awesome. Uh, we saw a lot of blue winged olives. Uh, Luke recalibrated the rigs, ran through, uh, picked up some trout. Um, by the famous Sundial Bridge. Yeah, it was good. Good, Trout. Uh, so let's talk about your YouTube channel. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, we want, I mean, if, so if you're listening to this, watching this, whatever, uh, you should totally subscribe uh, to his YouTube channel. You'll see it in the description and also right up here. Uh, but, you know, kind of like your, tell us about your program. Tell about tell us about New Mexico, San Juan River. You guide there. You've been guiding there for eight years. What's your YouTube channel about? Just tell us a little bit about that. Uh, thanks, Luke. I really appreciate that, and I also just appreciate all the hospitality here in Northern California. I'm really making me feel at home here. The whole Confluence team. Uh, shout out to Andrew. Shout out Lounge Runner as well. It's mm-hmm. a big part of my business uh, down south. But um, about trout's kind of an education based, or is an education based YouTube channel. Uh, really focusing on kind of the stuff we guide down there, uh, Southern Rocky stuff, San Juan, obviously he- he- heavy. This probably makes up the, the majority of our business. We do do some Southern Colorado stuff. Uh, as well um, but just trying to get people excited about fly fishing and kind of un- unpack um, unpack some maybe more difficult concepts for, for newer anglers and just mm-hmm. make it make it more accessible so anything from like fly fishing or, or how to's gear reviews um, some vlogs mixed in mm-hmm. I'm excited to drop this content but yeah, about trout. If you need a guide on the San Juan River, we're happy to help down there. We work with some really, really amazing guides, patient, um, and we know you'll have a great time. Sweet, awesome. So, yeah, so go to New Mexico, go fish with uh, James. Uh, book a trip for the Trinity, the Lower Sack. We also, obviously, at Confluence, have a bunch of guides on the Rogue. Um, you know, pretty much anywhere from uh, from all of Northern California uh, on up to uh, to you know Central Oregon, we have a guide for you. Uh, and don't forget about stripers. Uh, Bryce down on the Delta is is catching some really big stripers, and so you should consider doing one of those trips too because that's a lot of fun. So do you like stripers? They're really fun. Yeah, they are a lot of fun. So, all right. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you subscribe. Like the video, share. Uh, You can follow us on uh, our social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube. So thanks a lot. You're a dork. Oh. (laughs) Yo, I'm being held against my will, up against this guy in the boat, making me parrot. But uh, second steelhead on a Euro rig. Um, it's cool. These trout are like, these steelhead are super trouty up here. And just kind of using that Euro rig to pick these pockets uh, through the current. I personally guide a lot of Euro out of the boat on my home river on the San Juan. So it's fun to kind of joint put our heads together. Um, oh, stop it. Mm.